honestly, I really don't understand why Netflix is is going through what it's going to say. Why are people unsub? Oh my gosh, subscribing from Netflix. Let me see if I can find any answers. Thousands of Netflix users cancel their subscription. I really don't know thousands. Okay, I read that title already. We'll explain why some have left the video streaming service behind and how to end your own subscription if you choose. Why do I get the feeling that this is gonna really get in depth as to how to cancel your subscription? Okay, so once again, I don't use Netflix, man. I use um, Crunchyroll. It has all the anime I want there. And I think that if there's anything I gotta say, I think I really like how Crunchyroll really like because I think uh, Funimation was trying to develop their own streaming service, but then Crunchyroll stepped in and said, "Hey, no, 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 no! Listen, what if we merge?" And I think that's how it went down. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, but like they both of them ended up developing some sort of like I don't know if it's a merger or some contract, and so now most of the titles from Funimation will now be streamed over to Crunchyroll. And I think that was a really brilliant move. And I, I think that's something that Netflix should have done. But unfortunately, it did not do that. And now we have like this like aggressive competition from other streaming services who are who are attempting to dominate the the the, the scene. So let's see, today a national streaming day. Today is National Streaming Day, and for some reason, Netflix isn't on the list of services they'll be using to watch their favorite shows. The streaming video giant last month reported the loss of 200,000 subscribers. Wait, well, give me one second. Really quick, I just want to know May 20. Okay, so it's it's fairly recent. In the first in the first quarter of 2022, the company had previously projected an increase of 2.5 million subscribers for that period. Why are so many people leaving Netflix? The decline of COVID-19 pandemic restrictions is one big reason. Folks formerly limited to streaming video at home now have more entertainment options available such as eating out, attending concerts, or watching movies in theaters. Inflation isn't helping Netflix either. The high cost of food, gasoline has fa families cutting spending. Um, Netflix price increase at the start of 2022 may have brought attention to, its, to it as a potential budget cut. Yeah, listen, man. I think I, from what I heard, uh, from from what I've heard, especially from Moist Critical, he's been saying that like the prices have been going up dramatically. Like you would think that you know if you were going any higher, we would reach the moon because those prices are just you know out of this world. <laughs> Get it? Is the frame? You know what? Never mind. Anyways, yeah, it's the it's um it's not looking too good, and I heard that they're trying to do something about like, you know, family sharing, which is like, they're trying to charge people for family sharing. Um, my dude, I family share with other streaming services and not one service is complaining about it, except Netflix. Now, perhaps they're probably gonna find some clever way to get around that, now, I don't know. But I don't see any other company complaining about, let me see, uh, family sharing on other, uh, streaming services. Can you share streaming services with family? You can share your account with your family with Amazon household at no additional cost. I've never even heard of Amazon household, but this already sounds much better than Netflix <laughs> just because of that. No, at no additional cost. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, it, in its uh, Q1 2022 shareholder letter, the company mentioned the war in Ukraine as a major factor in subscriber loss. Netflix contends that suspension of its service in Russia resulted in a 7,000 net loss of global subscribers. That could, yeah, that could potentially be one of the reasons. Um, as competitors like Disney Plus, HBO Max, Amazon Prime, and Hulu grow, more users might be considering canceling Netflix. If you're ready to leave Stranger Things, Bridgerton, uh, Russian doll and better call Sal behind read on to learn how easily cancel how, how to easily cancel your Netflix account wow they're gonna give you a guide a, a complete guide as to how to do it as if like canceling your Netflix subscription was an algorithm that was impossible to solve this is insane man so let's see okay so wait hang on a second. before we proceed forward with the process I just want to go ahead and just reflect on some of these titles here so Bridgerton 
I've attempted to watch Bridgerton, and unfortunately, the show itself was not that entertaining. At least for me, it could not keep my attention. I, I couldn't. This is probably more more geared towards female audiences. Unfortunately for myself, I was not appealed by the aesthetics nor the story behind Bridgerton. So, Stranger Things. I actually like this title. Unfortunately, though, however, it couldn't keep me tied. I kind of had to just abstain from this title itself because I don't want to get addicted to shows that I don't know won't really provide any value for me. So when I say value, I mean like again, like I'm an artist. So whenever I watch titles, I want there to be like some sort of like artistic aesthetic that will inspire me to draw something. And Stranger Stranger Things doesn't exactly ha- offer that for me, you know. So Better Call Saul never watched that. Russian Doll never watched that. But it, I mean, you know, you guys make your own take on that. So. Uh, how to cancel your Netflix subscription on your phone or tablet. So it's easy to cancel your subscription on a computer. See the ne- see the next section. Netflix makes it difficult to cancel your subscription on your phone and tablet, but there is a way to do it. Although you won't be using any of the official Netflix apps on the App Store or Play Store, instead you'll need to use their web browser of your choice to cancel your net. Look at that. They make it, this is like a Mario level. They make it difficult for you. You have to get over all these obstacles. I'm pretty sure there's probably uh, minions that are probably uh, obstructing your path towards canceling your Netflix account. Go to Netflix.com on your web browser and sign into your account. (laughs) I mean, listen, guys. (laughs) I don't know if you guys want to know this. I'm pretty sure some of you guys are probably dying for me to read this. You're like, no, read it, man, because I've been trying. Like, you have no idea the story. Like, I've been trying to cancel my Netflix account for almost three months at to no success. You are my only hope. Read it out loud. (laughs) Guys, <laughs> tap the three dash menu in the top left to open the side menu. Now hit account, scroll down and tap cancel membership, which you'll find under membership and billing. The next page will notify you that your cancellation will be effective at the end of your current billing period. To cancel your Netflix subscription, tap the blue finish cancellation button. Wow. How to cancel your Netflix subscription on your computer. Man, that that's... uh. Listen, man, I'm not going to read this, okay? You, I'm sure that you it's, it's not that difficult to figure out, okay? Maybe the tablet one, I kind of had to read it because they say that it makes it impossible, which I've, I've had to deal with services like that where they make it impossible for you to cancel. And it really, really grinds my, my, my teeth to, like, do that, you know? Like, bro, like, just, there should just be a button, a tap button, a click button. A clickable button where I could just say, you know what, cancel my my subscription. I just can't do it today. What what else do they offer? New Netflix subscription prices. Okay, so let's see. I haven't seen this. Okay, the prices increase. Uh, the price increases for the three tiers of Netflix streaming services that the company announced in January are now in effect for new subscribers enrolling now for existing Netflix uh, customers. You may have received an email about the price hikes, but if you haven't, here's the latest price breakdown. Okay, so let's see Netflix price plans plan basic a basic is nine dollars i don't know what this offers what is a basic offer old monthly price new monthly price price increase a dollar standard fourteen dollars fifteen ninety uh, forty nine one dollar and forty nine price increase premium eighteen twenty dollars a two dollar increase so what do you what, what do you get like i'm pretty sure it's going to explain here what is it that you get with a premium and no it doesn't i i don't know i don't know what it what it offers but that is ridiculous for twenty dollars no wait but what are the hulu prices um i remember when i had hulu like hulu was like if you want it live or something like that it was like 40 bucks let me see uh what are the prices of hulu hulu's uh streaming Oh my God, come on. Hulu's streaming service. Uh, Hulu's cost starts at $6.99 per month or $69.99 per month, so $70, which saves users about $14 for its ad supported plan. Okay, so it, it, it does play ads. And I think that Netflix should have gone down that ad, that ad route. Even though ads are absolutely annoying, but like this is what people pay for. They pay for like no ads. So, but twenty dollars for the premium? Like you have a premium, a standard, and what the basic? 
I don't know, man. I don't. I that's the, that's the thing. Like, what's going on there? Hulu's no ad plan costs twelve ninety nine per month. Twelve ninety nine per month. How much does um does the Netflix cost one? Fourteen. That's two dollars more. Uh, Hulu also offers a student discount for two dollars per month for its ad supported plan, which saves users five dollars per month or sixty dollars per year. And listen, man, they seem to have uh, quite the formula here. <sighs> what? Let me see. What? What is? What? What? Do, let me see. Maybe if I ask it like this, what does Netflix cost? Let me ask that. Okay, so simultaneous streams for. So does this mean that four people can stream it at once? Is that why that number is there? Hmm. They don't seem to offer anything. See, uh, does Netflix? offer a student this I don't care you know I'm not gonna fix that it has a massive library of TV shows and movies including a lot of brand new originals old favorites but it doesn't have a student discount if you're a student trying to get by on a tight budget there is unfortunately no Netflix student discount to help ease that burden now I'm not gonna like sit here and be like oh yeah well look uh hulu has this hulu cares more about you i, I don't know listen netflix has their own thing uh, i don't think it's geared towards students but it's it's it makes you look good when you have this going on for you that hulu offers student discounts i mean you know if hulu would have had like this like button where like it donates to like charities i think that would just look too good you know but no uh, seriously speaking though um yeah no that makes hulu look a lot more like that appeals to people you know netflix doesn't exactly appeal to people in that sense you know the fact that you don't have a student discount but i don't know if that'll even help honestly um they have their own thing going on um yeah so like listen man this video has been going on for like 33 minutes already um so i don't know why netflix sucks uh, or why it's losing so many subscribers but based off of what i've mentioned prior to ending this video um or you know concluding this video it's perhaps because people are just kind of tired of like these price hikes people are also tired uh, of like staying home and watching videos movies they want to go out and explore stuff um, at least according to what we read um, i might be wrong they may be wrong but who knows, man? Only uh, your experience entails what exactly, you know, um, why this service is falling. So anyways, yeah, that's it, man. I, I don't know what else we can do. So, yeah. That's pretty much it.